Okay, so it's been a little while since I made a video, and seeing that I am in self-isolation today with the coronavirus freaking people out, uh, I figured why not just make a video. So I am making a uh, Commander Dinosaur deck, and uh, for those of you who play Commander, uh, I've actually never played one game of Commander in my life with Paper Magic, never. I've played Brawl on Arena, um, but I know that this is a popular card, so I'll put it in the deck. Uh, I got... I went to my local game store. I had two local game stores. Uh, one is called the Dragon's Horde in Hackenstown, New Jersey. The other is called the Bearded Dragon in Bernardsville, New Jersey. And look, service industries, uh, retail shops, they're going to they're gonna get hit hard by people not frequenting them as much. Uh, one of my game stores already canceled a vintage tournament that I was going to participate in next week. And that's why I got all these cards that I was going to put in a deck to use, but I'll just have to wait till the next tournament. So, but anyway, I picked up four mystery boosters just because I wanted to see. Uh, this is really a gamble. Uh, I've watched box openings where people get crazy value out of a box, but if you get four random packs, who knows? But anyway, so for those of you who have never played Vintage, um, let me explain what it's like. You sit there and you essentially get destroyed by the same deck. Uh, people all play the same deck. It's a variation of, uh, it's like blue control, blue-white control with a monastery mentor that destroys you. And it takes forever because they have all these preordains, they sift through their library, you just sit there and wait to get killed. It's, it's not very fun. So what I try to do is play, I play a green-black deck that uh, basically, I want it to be a creature rush deck. I, I, I do have a black lotus, a mox, check, mox emerald, lotus petal, um, uh, it, some tutors and whatnot. And what I've learned is that you can't really play cards that are any greater than three in value. You just can't. Uh, it's just, you're going to get destroyed so quickly here. I don't want any addresses to get in the video, so... Uh, Dark Confidence, card draw, that's important. And the, my black deck has dark, two Dark Confidence already. I wanted to get another couple to put in there. And now I have them. And I'll go over all this stuff in a minute. Uh, I, I, I have been similarly defeated by the Tendrils of Agony decks. The, um, you know, they uh, it's just a, uh, what do they call it? A Storm deck where they have one Tendrils of Agony in there and they're able to... Yagmas will, and they go in there and they kill you with Tendrils of Agony. Not very fun, but again, uh, the reason I like to play Vintage is because I've been playing Magic since 1994, and you played with what you had. There was no uh, various divisions or... Ah, come on, God darn it. Try not to swear, and I don't want to cut my beautiful play mat. Oh, God. There we go. There we go. And so what I did is I'm getting creatures with power of three or less that can do various things cheap to get out. And one of the things that I actually like doing, I could have won a game in Vintage a few weeks back. I had a Shifting Ceratops ready to charge a blue player. Uh, he didn't have anything that could stop it. You can't counter it, and he didn't have anything. And I just could not pull the extra land to give it haste. I just couldn't. And of course, I ended up losing. It's so damn frustrating. Uh, one Fatal Push. Nice. And it's a uh, uh, f promo one, which is nice. Let me clip this open. I am expecting a few more things, actually, in the mail. Uh, I'm, on, on Monday, I'm going to be getting four or three Berserks, which are... That's old school, you know. Not 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 the unlimited kind. Uh, okay, good. A couple of Tarmogoyfs. I have two. and got two more here. And let's see. Last one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a few things in here. All right, whoop, that's just the card, that's just the slip, there we go, all right, good. Okay, so, for my mana base, I have 17 or 18 lands, I still have to decide which is the best. Uh, they are the, I have four bayous, four, uh, four of the uh, Burden Catacombs, I now have four uh, Nurturing Peat lands, I have two upstairs in the deck, and a few other things, a few other lands that can help out. Uh, just some basic ones. Uh, the Modern Horizons uh, Canopy Vista, whatever it's called. Uh, what the hell is that thing called when it's, uh, it's... It's like a fetch land for regular lands. I'm getting old. I can't remember it, but uh, I'll remember it at some point. But anyway, so 
I have four of those, uh, four of these here now. Uh, Prismatic Vista, that's it, thank you, God. So I just wanted to try to experiment with various creatures that you can get pumped up. Uh, so I, ha I do have Scavenging Ooze, there's actually have four of them here. I don't know if I would use all four in the, uh, in the, uh, in the deck because you do want to have some creatures in there, obviously. Uh, excuse me, you do want to have, uh, you do want to have some sorceries and instants in there, which I'm actually going to try to go old school and use four giant growths and four berserks uh, from Conspiracy Take the Crown. I, I used to have an unlimited one, but I sold it a while back. I might just pick one up just for old time's sake, but I'm not going to do it right now. It's not really that important. I do like that artwork better, though. I think Dan Frazier was the artist, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, I have four scavenging oozes, which is... This feels weird. Let's do a very... This feels very weird. Um, okay, where is it? I wanted to do this because some of these cards are high-end. This isn't. But let's do a... Okay, no, I guess it's okay. For those of you who don't know what the light test is, you want to use... Uh, uh, high high frequency beam, uh, LED, whatever they're called, and you want to be able to see through the card pretty well. Now, if I had the lights off in here, it'd be you'd, you know you'd be seeing right through it. So that's okay. This one just felt weirder than the other ones, and you want to see that blue, that purplish blue hue go through. You know you're in trouble when you uh, when you can't see any light through it at all. And again, these are cheap cards. I mean, they're, they're not no anybody who's counterfeiting these needs help. The ones that I really want to check out are the uh, Dark Confidants. These are these are like $40 each, almost $35, $40. Yeah, it's looking okay. You want to be able to see, yeah, see the text. And there are other things you can do with a jeweler's loop. You can look at the, uh, uh, you can look through it and see certain dot patterns on the green dot there that are unique to Magic the Gathering printing. Uh, that's hard to illustrate in a, I see, it's just, I don't know, it just feels weird. I don't, I can't explain it, but the Tarmogoyfs are the other ones that I want to double check. But yeah, if you've never done that, get a, get a good high frequency flashlight. That's one of the tests that you can use to determine whether or not your cards are authentic. And these are packed in there pretty darn good. But I've never had, uh, I've never had a come across a fake card that I bought, so I've been pretty lucky. Yeah, this looks good. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you, you, you know you're in trouble when you can't see light at all, or it's like black, uh, or, or it's like a whitish, yellowish type see-through. Uh, that's when you know you've got a counterfeit. So those Tarmogors are good. I'm not too worried about this other stuff. Um, you know, the peat land should be fine. Yeah, so, all right, I'm satisfied. So anyway, uh, four giant growths and four berserks. Uh, those are the cool cards. The, the creatures that I have in there are four, maybe I should just do a whole separate video. I think I might just do that on, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Just go through what I'm trying to come up with for my black green vintage deck. And uh, good to have a fatal push in there. And this one's kind of kind of interesting. It's the... Uh, it's the foil promo. So anyway, so I am expecting four more, or ex excuse me, I'm expecting four, uh, I think they're called Grim Flayers from uh, Avastrin or something like that. I don't know. They're, they're two, two creatures that can get trample uh, depending on what's in your graveyard, and they only cost two to get out, a black and a green. So those actually might be coming today. I know the Berserks are coming Monday. And uh, But look, uh, I was supposed to play in that tournament next week, and of course my game store canceled it. And that's fine. I, I'm not complaining. It's the smart thing to do. It's the responsible thing to do. Um, but it's just frustrating. Look, you should call it the Wuhan whatever it is, okay? Actually, wait, I, I can't get demonetized. Apparently, you're not supposed to say what it is that's out there or else you get demonetized or something like that. I, I've heard people refer to that on other channels, which is absurd. But whatever. You know, reality is reality, folks. There's uh, the Wuhan coronavirus out there. It started in Wuhan, China. Uh, it did, okay? If you guys believe in science and whatnot, go look it up. And uh, because of the, the decrepit market, like food market conditions over there, the virus spread, got out of hand, a communist Chinese dictatorship. 
suppress what information there was, tried to make it seem like it wasn't a big deal, and it got out of hand. It's facts. Anyway, uh, so let's open these. I guess uh, it's frustrating, but look, it could be a lot worse. It really could be. I'm 44, I'm in good health. I'm more worried about my parents than I am about me, to be quite honest. Uh, you know, like somebody said it's kind of like when you're up here in the Northeast, kind of like a Superstorm Standy, but without, but with electricity. So let's see. Uh, what am I expecting to get? Nothing. There, this is a total gamble, but let's just see what's in here. I always kind of like to get the new sets. I, I do know that there are some good cards, obviously, that you can pull. Are these by color order? So you got some black ones. Oh, interesting. And then some red ones. Green. All right. So, uh... Setter Expector, oh, that's interesting looking. Uh, Iron Stead Crusher, I guess you get an artifact. Cragwick Cremator, all right, so there's a rare. All right. Uh, Yurikuro Tiger Shadow, uh-huh. And a Boreal Druid. It's like a Land of War elf that gives you colorless mana. Big gosh darn deal. All right, whatever. Picked up three of these, five bucks a pack. That's fine. I mean, I, I never bought um, any of the Masters products well, I, of any variety. And, you know, these are actually affordable. And this is the Professor Florian guy. Many Magic the Gathering players. But he did say this is kind of like a Masters product, uh, but it's affordable. So, and, and in a sense, he's right. These are reprints. And... As with any reprint set, there are some good ones. Shardless Agent, Serrated Arrows, uh, Martyr's Cause, all right. Uh, uh, that thing's kind of cool looking. I just like the art. Uh, Dragon Lord, okay, pretty cool. And we have a Scrib Ranger. Uh, okay, you know, there are some good foils in here that in theory you can get. I haven't got one rare or mythic rare foil yet. I'd like to, but you know, this is the way it is. And I'll make some arena videos. I love that arena this week has historic brawl, which I love. All right, I'm just, I don't know what half these things are. So, oh, good, Dark Ritual is always a good card. All right, Goblin War Chief, that's pretty cool. Uh, da -da. All right, so. Let's see. Sultai Soothsayer. Okay. Get to Warcry. Okay. Oh, Gideon Jura. Huh, it's a Planeswalker I didn't have before. All right, so let's see. It's a Celestial Curin, legendary creature flying. When you play Spirit or Arcane spell, destroy all permanents with that spell's converted mana cost. Oh, that's interesting. All right, Gideon Jura. Uh, all right, well, look, it's a Planeswalker. All right, it's pretty cool. So I was thinking about buying a box of this, but it just it just doesn't make much financial sense for me to do it. I got other, I just spent a lot of money to get my car uh, tuned up, and uh, so maybe some other time. But it's I always like to get a new, you know, some new cards. I, I remember I had the pre-release one of those in 1998 with Stronghold. Still have it. Uh, Feral Abomination, Gambit, ba -ba -ba -ba, Overgrown Arnosaur. Okay, Hammer Dropper. Gruel Sage. Actually, that's kind of cool. I could use one of those. Uh, and we have Energy Field. Prevent all damage dealt to you from sources you do not control. Oh, that's kind of cool. When a card is put into your graveyard, sacrifice Energy Field. That's interesting. And we have a Temporal Mastery. Oh, okay. Is this any good? I honestly don't know if Temporal Mastery is like a good card, but... Uh, I don't even know what a miracle cost is, but my son has a blue deck, so he might want to insert that in there. And we have Rekai, the History of Kamigawa. Whenever you play a legendary spell, draw a card. All right. Well, look, these are interesting. I'm not, I'm not going to say they're not. So anyway, uh, I'll go through all that. I, am I impressed? Eh, you know, they're reprints. It, maybe somebody will play, maybe, maybe somebody won't. I, I, I don't know, but they're just kind of cool. So anyway, uh, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll talk to you all later.